2018 first alert weather forecast. Well, we started off the first day of daylight saving time with slightly warmer temperatures. What we saw yesterday is the beginning of a pretty significant warming trend into early next week. Temperatures reaching to the 40s region wide this afternoon, even a few 50s down towards Winona and La Crosse. So not bad at all. These temperatures are all well above average for this time of the year. As we go into the overnight hours tonight, I don't think we're going to drop a whole lot compared to where temperatures are standing right now. It's 31 in Eau Claire currently and do think well, we could drop maybe one or two more degrees, uh, but that'll be about it. Some of the colder spots are already down into the 20s like Black River Falls, but also for them that's pretty much rock bottom for tonight. The reason, the winds from the south, 5 to 10 miles per hour, that is all linked to high pressure sliding to our south. And on the back side, we see strong south winds over, over parts of Minnesota in particular. And those south winds have also started to, to take hold of our area right now. So again, for the overnight tonight, not expecting much more in terms of a temperature drop. Further out west, we have an area of low pressure right over South Dakota with some milder air locked in behind it. That's on the menu for early next week. So the next few days, expect even milder temperatures uh, to uh, arrive into the area. As we kick things off early tomorrow morning, we're starting off sunny, so it's going to be a very nice start of the day. A few higher clouds appear as we go into early afternoon. Pretty similar, I think, to what we saw uh, today with also some higher clouds. The sun should not have any problem peeking through this. It may just be filtered a little bit. The clouds will start to move out again, though. So as we go towards sunset tomorrow evening, it's starting to look a little bit clearer again. Now, the temperatures are going to react to this as well, because already in the morning, it's not going to be cold by any stretch of the imagination, but look what happens into the afternoon widespread 60s on the board all across western wisconsin maybe a little bit cooler towards the north and west but especially further towards the south and west looking at temperatures close to 70 along the mississippi river i would not be surprised to see a few areas hitting the 70s because the warmer air is not very far away over parts of minnesota so if that makes it a little bit closer to us we're looking at uh, an even warmer day for some areas and tuesday is going to be uh, even better especially for the Chippewa Valley region, we're looking at some possibly record-breaking temperatures. The record temperature on Tuesday is 67, set in 1990 for the first time, then matched again in 2016. Right now, we're calling for a high of around 66, but we'll see. Maybe we can just uh, squeeze, squeeze another degree out of there so we can make it up to that 67 degrees. Wednesday is also still looking pretty good, but then we're tracking a few changes towards the tail end of this week with the storm system that's coming in on Thursday. We've been watching it for a little while. Models are now starting to come together a little bit better on what it will look like. We're tracking a storm system that's coming in on Thursday. It looks like this one is going to stay towards our south. We've seen it multiple times already this winter. That means that the Cooley region has better chances of some precipitation. And the farther north you go, we're looking at less rain. So we'll see maybe in Eau Claire we're missing out on that one. Also keeping my eyes on a new system that's coming in on Saturday. It might be an Alberta Clipper type system with uh, less moisture but some colder air, so maybe some light snow into Saturday as well. Not expecting much in terms of impact. Probably the biggest impact is going to be some breezy winds, but this is your first alert to maybe a more active pattern towards the end of the week. But until then, looking at temperatures well above average into the 60s for the next three days. Then we're going to decrease with that storm system coming in into the 40s, maybe 50s still on Friday. Still above average, but at least a little bit cooler and a little bit closer to normal for mid-March as well. So that streak of record possible days isn't gone quite yet. Uh, not quite. Uh, Tuesday could be a good one for that, but yeah, it's going to change quite dramatically towards the end of the week. For sure. Thanks so much, yeah. Kevin.